Hi, I'm Dulcie Hill. Uh, tonight I want to talk about Copaxone. Um, I was in the study program back in 1995, I believe it was. It used to be called COP, COP2, no, COP1, Copolymer 1. And you used to have to pay to get into the uh, experiment uh, for this. So uh, um, I was in that phase 3 study and uh, I got to be on it. It was through Temple University. Um, my parents paid for me to be on the drug, which I was very grateful for. Uh, what I remembered about Copaxin is the incredible pain in the injection, injection site that I felt. Uh, they had auto ejectors available, um, and that helped. Uh, what really helped was icing the spot before I did the injection, and uh, um, afterwards rubbing that site real hard, and that seemed to really help. Uh, Copaxone, uh, the best way to describe it is a decoy. Um, for me, when you inject it into yourself, the idea is that your immune system, the white blood cells, instead of eating on the myelin sheath, will be diverted by the uh, Copaxone. They'll go after that instead. It worked for many, many years. I was on it for goodness like eight years. Um, and then I developed the resistance to it, and uh, I started having lots of attacks uh, for a year, four or five attacks a year, um, and that was a problem. Uh, again, uh, the Copaxin was very effective for a number of years. Uh, and, uh, besides that, uh, I, I encourage you, if you haven't been on it, try it for a few years, but as soon as you have your first attack, get on something else. Um, I will be happy to go over Avonex and Navantra and the other medications I've been on. Um, I had no other side effects with uh, Copaxone. I didn't have a headache. I didn't get flushed. Heart palpitation, sweats, I didn't have anything like that. Just the injection site. And after a while, that went away. So uh, um, I didn't need the ice. And, and it became just a second nature to carry my meds with me and take that shot. So, uh, and it's it's a small needle. And it, it just, it really didn't bother me too much. Anyway, thank you for watching. And uh, God bless you. Keep coming back.